That's it just... is just completely sick to me. Like, I just can't. Mm -hmm. I can't fathom it. How is money day? Look, let's kidding me. My name's Jasmine. We're Dwayne and Jazz. Today we have for you scariest experiments ever by Shane. Is uh -oh. this experiments or torture? Probably both. Yeah. Okay, I just finished watching Tokyo Ghoul, y'all. So, the torture experiments. <laughs> That was I'm real. Kinda, it's kind of real on there. And if you don't know so, Tokyo Ghoul, it's an anime. Yeah. It's very good. I would recommend you checking it out. Yeah, and I know that season three is coming out soon, too. Hopefully, yeah. I don't know. It's not confirmed yet. I don't know if you've been saying I don't know. I don't know. Let's dive okay. on in. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, today is time for another creepy video. Now, I am just warning you, today's video is dark. We're going to be talking about something that is going to be scary. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about something that is going to be scary. Oh, this might be like mind control too. Yeah. Surgeries, very intense medical operations. So if you are sensitive to that, you should probably click off. Okay, so first we're going to be talking about something that you guys have wanted me to talk about for a long time, and that is the Russian sleep experiment. Russian sleep experiment. Back in the 1940s, Russian researchers put five inmates in a locked room. Now, in this okay. airtight room, they released the gas. The gas made it so that the prisoners would not. Now, this whole thing was being monitored by the researchers. What? They were watching through two-way mirrors. They were listening through microphones. They basically wanted to see what would happen if you deprived people of sleep. They'll go crazy. Slowly, the right. And they started to lose their minds. Mm -hmm. After the fifth day, they stopped talking to each other. They got paranoid. On the tenth day, they started screaming and running around the room. Some of them screamed so hard that they ripped all their vocal cords. Then, the voices stopped. Now, the researchers thought that maybe they were dead. When the researchers walked into the room, all of the inmates said, We don't want to go. We want to stay here. And what? this is where it gets really fucked up. Okay. On the fifteenth day, they replaced that gas with fresh air and it made the inmates go crazy. They were ripping off their own flesh and shoving it down the drain. They were ripping to their own stomachs and eating their bodies. Well it got so out of hand that the researchers killed the inmates and got rid of That can all be real, right? Mm -hmm. And this oh. story
Guys, yeah. What? That's an... And there were so many other things they did. They would burn people alive just to see how long it took for the person to die. They mm. would eject the victim's veins with seawater. water. They would do so many things that they would call experiments. But reality it's just torture. Was just torture. Now, this right. is where it gets really fucked up. After the war ended, the U.S. government gave the doctors a choice. They would either be tried for war crimes, which is what they were doing, or they could give the U.S. government all of the research and findings that they got from these experiments, and they would be let off the hook. And of course, they chose to do just and the sad wow. part, the death and torture of those 3,000 victims actually helped U.S. science. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so next we're going to be talking about something that we haven't touched on before. But this I is know depressing. I know. And that is NK Ultra. So as you guys know, you know about NK that. Ultra has been yep. talked about in tons of movies and TV shows. Stranger, Stranger Things, too. Things is literally based on it. But here's mm -hmm. a quick rundown of what it was. So from the 1950s LSD. to the early 1970s, the CIA was doing illegal human experimentation, and the goal was to figure out mind control. Mm -hmm. Now, the government wanted to control the enemy's mind. So, for example, if they wanted to get information out of the enemy, they wanted to know how they could like, get in there and get that information. Mm -hmm. They did that was by experimenting on people and trying to see if they could control the mind. And this is not a theory. This actually mm -hmm. happened. Yeah, this yep. is a quote from the CIA's document. Controlling an individual to the point where he will do our bidding against his will, aka mind control. Now the MK Ultra's files have all been destroyed. There's really not much left of it. But here mm -hmm. are just a few things we know that they were trying to do. What substance can hypnotize people into doing complex LSD. deeds or telling information? What substance will create selective memory loss in its victims so that the government can selectively wipe people's memories? So mm. the government was trying to find so a way to wipe somebody's memory or control their mind. And they wanted to do that by figuring out some kind of a drug. Now they were trying to cook up a form of an LSD. Something that you could give a person and it would open up their mind so that you could get in there. Now of course there was huge side effects and a lot of deaths. Mm -hmm. A doctor named Frank Olson was a researcher and he had his drink spiked with some form of LSD. After he drank it, he walked out of a 10 story building window. Now, since oh. all the files have been burned and destroyed, there's a lot of stuff we don't know. But there have been testimonies given by people that say that they were researched on. Just check out this testimony from one of the survivors of the MK Ultra experiments. I'm Christy Nicola, born July 1962, rendering me 32 years of age. I was a subject in radiation, as well as mind control and drug experiments, performed by a man I knew as Dr. Green. Now, in this testimony, she talks about a bunch of things that happened to her in these experiments. She also talks about things she learned how to do. Check it out. I was taught how to pick locks, be secretive, use my photographic memory, and a technique to withhold information by repeating wow. numbers to myself. Dr. Green moved on to wanting me to kill dolls that looked like real children. She also goes what? To talk about really creepy things for Dr. Green. He often tied me down in a cage, which was near his office. Oh Between my God. 1972 and 1976, he and yeah, his assistants were sometimes careless and left the cage unlocked. <laughs> Whenever physically possible, I snuck into his office and found files with reports and memos addressed to CIA and military personnel. Wow. Mm. Really dark stuff that her doctor did. I was caught twice. <laughs> And Dr. Green ruthlessly used electric shock drugs, spun me on a table, put shots in my stomach, in my back, Ooh. dislocated my joints, and mm. hypnotic techniques to make me feel crazy and suicidal. Now that mm. thing is oh my God. To me. What's even scarier is what if they succeeded? What if right. they control right. people's minds? What if they're using it to do it? Probably still are. Probably are. Let's move on. Yeah. Who knows? I think so. Because it yeah. involves one of my biggest fears, which is sleep paralysis. And this is mm -mm. Harry Bailey's deep sleep therapy experiment. Back in 1920, there was sleep a paralysis is very scary. Therapy. Yeah. He was a psychotherapist who was interested in electric shock therapy and the study of deep sleep. Now, he invented something called a DTS cocktail. Now, if you took this drug, you it would be like a suicide dream. For yeah. 30 Nine days. Now, Sleep for 39 days? Damn. He put you in a deep sleep. He could do electroshock therapy.
therapy to you and help you get rid of your bad habits. Now the scariest part, he would sometimes use patients who didn't consent. He would what? literally take people who did not want this and force them into a 39 Wow. Oh and this was not my like god. Anesthesia. It's not like he put you to sleep and then you black out and you wake you up. Wake like, up. What happened? You are in a dream or a nightmare for 39 days. And that is crazy. See. And as most of you guys know, in dreamland, time is even is longer. longer. Yes. So it probably feels like being in a nightmare for years. for years. And because your body can still feel because you're basically in a coma as mm -hmm. he's electrocuting your body with this shock That's therapy. That's happening to you in a dream. You're feeling it in your nightmare. And you can't mm. move. You can't wake up. You are just trapped inside of your oh, head. Oh. Now these experiments led to 85 people dying. Yes. Wow. Some committed suicide. Wow. What does that mean? Like what people do and who they like and what they like should not have any concern about oh, your you, life, yeah. okay? That's the first thing. Second, you're doing all these things and you're gay yourself, you do it too, but because they're open and fine with it and you're not Jealous or probably. your family's not okay with it or something Jealousy. like that, you're trying to punishment, take, take punishment on other people for being okay with it. That's just sick. That is just completely sick to me. Like I just can't, mm -hmm. I can't fathom it. And like, I'm telling them jazz about MK Ultra. Then you got, you don't forget yeah, about you the, have. Yeah, yeah. And then like the uh, Tuskegee experiments. Um, you guys could look that yeah, up. That I was a messed up experiment. You know, uh, you know they was injecting African American guys with uh, like syphilis and stuff like that without telling them without their consent. Mm -hmm. Um, United States government. So you know, there's some messed up stuff out there, especially back in that time. You know, they didn't care. Exactly. 
Now, now, uh, imagine now what they probably doing. Who knows? You probably got some aliens probably sitting there somewhere. So I know area aliens 70, 71, not 51, 71, you know. I saying? know aliens are sitting somewhere. There's yeah. no way we're the only ones alive in this whole universe. Yeah. There's no way. So, hey, you don't know. There's secrets out there. But anyway, guys, please comment below. So, if you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Just more, I guess, do